heading out to the Callahan Valley, a host of the Nordic events for the 2010 Winter Olympic Games. I have come here three days ago in search of a moody, cloudy photograph with no success. Today I return with more hope and a better plan. The road you see me driving on was initially built for a mine which is now shut down. There are many logging roads and ATV parts. This is one of the only ways I know in this area which gives such a convenient car access to the high alpine tundra. There's about a thousand mosquitoes around me right now, but I've set my tripod up. Uh, and I'm going to wait for half an hour because right now that is nothing. And I'll, if I can manage to wait around these mosquitoes, I'll, I'll wait for the sunset, see if anything happens. If nothing happens, I'll just go home. So I've been sitting here for a few minutes absolutely gobsmacked by the views. They are just fantastic. Uh, just soaking it in. But I've made one mistake already coming here. I didn't bring any mosquito spray and I just keep being bitten. There you go. Uh, hopefully it won't affect the quality of the images or the image, we'll see. Uh, and by sitting here for a little while, I think I've already sorted out a composition uh, which will show these lines of, of all these uh, valleys and then peaks at the edge. What would you call them? Crests? Yeah, crests. And I think they will create a very beautiful contrast when the, once the sun is quite a bit lower. I've got a couple of hours to go, so I think I will keep exploring for a little longer. But before I do that, I think I'm gonna spend another few minutes here just enjoying the sun. I've abandoned the car as the dirt truck have, that has become increasingly more difficult to drive and quite a lot more wet. So I decided to just ditch it all together and, uh, and just go for a hike on foot. I'm, I've got my secure composition down. So worst case, I'll just return to the car and, uh, and then come back to where that composition is. But, Right now I have a lot of time, so I'm just going to go for a hike and explore a little bit. See if there's anything else possible. So yeah. So I was walking past and I saw this beautiful field of flowers and I um, happened to stumble upon some light that was shining on top of them as well. And I just couldn't stop myself from getting on the ground, kind of getting a little bit of mud on my pants 
and my shirt and taking a picture. So near that cabin I got, I went to look around whether there's a composition um, and there's a bunch of beautiful views for sure but I decided not to stay there as uh, I think the light won't be as nice as it would be in other places. But anyway I saw a nice peak uh, from around that cabin. I'm gonna see if I can get to it on time. I'm just keeping in mind the time frame because if I don't get there on time, I'm just gonna, if I don't think I'll get there on time, I think I'm just gonna turn around and uh, go back to where the car is and photograph what I've got already. I've already got in the plan, but we'll see. So I've reached the point where I know I'm going to turn around after furiously running up a hill because there isn't much time and if it's time to turn around the time is now and as you can see there's a lot of snow left which is covering up the trail and this is my first time here and it would be very dangerous to stay here and be trekking back through the night without seeing the trail. So I'm gonna get back on the trail, go back to the car and take the photo that I planned at the start. Come back here maybe in a month time when a bit more of the snow melts, if it ever does, because it has been a long winter. Ah, time to run back down. As I was walking through the forest uh, on the way back to the car, I, was, I, I started pondering on the fact that I've had a, an idea for a, quite a long time to do a specific study of trees. And I kid you not, five seconds after I st started thinking about the subject, I looked and I started paying attention to all the trees around me. I found this uh, tree over there um, and behind it there's a uh, there's a lake at the bottom and a peak at the top and I've just lined up the camera so it has everything in shot. I'm using my 40 millimeter lens, I tried using my crop sensor and the long lens but it is too long for what I would like to do with this shot. I have a very specific idea and I think it only will, will work in print, on screen not so much because it will be very narrow and very, uh, very tall composition and vertical. So um, yeah, I, I took a, a long shot initially 
but then I changed over to a lens and I think this will produce much better result uh, yeah so I have f11 one fiftieth of a second ISO 100 and it looks really really cool So here I am, it's the grand finale, I, um, I put a 40mm lens on the full frame camera, uh, I've got the polarizer on to kind of give the sky a little bit more colour, uh, and it looks bloody beautiful. Uh, the sun hasn't touched the peaks yet, but it's about to. Uh, and yeah, I'm just loving it. Still getting eaten by little flies and mosquitoes, but that's okay. I'm, I'm quite okay with it right now. I'm satisfied. So I've got, what have I got? I have, oh, let's go, actually I, I'll go F11. ISO 100 and one tenth of a second. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Very satisfied. So I'm going to move down uh, towards where I stopped for the first time before. Uh, and uh, maybe gets a slightly different composition. I've got what I wanted, I've got the safe shot, so I'm just going to experiment now and, and see what happens. I'm really loving the calm nature here, and the, the, the contrast between all these hills is fantastic, oh my god. So I managed to scramble up on a little bit of a uh, rock face, just over here, the road's down there, uh, and yeah, uh, I don't know how safe it is, but um, it's worth the effort because now I've got a, a, a view clear of the trees and I've got the sunset. Uh, I've made a panorama, probably about 10, seven, 10 images, a 180 degree view of the mountain mountain range over here in the valley. The sky is going quite a bit red over there, it's fantastic, it's looking beautiful and I'm very happy. Finally, I set up the crop sensor camera and the zoom lens attached to it and photographed the image I had planned initially at the start of my trip. The so-called crests did not create the contrast I had visualized but still produced a good result nonetheless.
The biggest lesson I have learned today was that the polarizer should not be used when shooting a panorama, as it created variability in the sky as the tripod got rotated. And perhaps maybe the fact that I should remember to pack some mosquito spray. And that's it, until next time.